Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme dial-up and tutorial. This is our part number 29. Inside this video session, guys, we will start about modifying single-product.php, and this is the first video of that. Now, if I back to admin panel. It's an admin panel. Here we have WooCommerce plugin, and as we know that inside WooCommerce we have several template files. So far we had discussed all about archive-product.php. Now if I back to its front end, and this is the layout of archive-product.php. As we can see here from this toolbar and this time it is coming from our WooCommerce folder which is stored inside custom theme directory. In the last video we had seen that we have copied our like the WooCommerce folder from plugin and pasted inside this theme custom theme and this is the folder. Now this time inside this folder we have a file called single-product.php which is responsible to display all single product details. Now if I back to front end, so first thing first, let's set a single value inside this page and we don't want this excerpt value. Why? Because it is distorting our add to cart button layout. So we want to remove this text. Back to editor. Go inside this file called wc-modifications.php. This is the separate file we have created for our WooCommerce modification. And inside this file, we can see here that is we have add action. And here we are displaying all about the excerpt value. Making comment of this line. Reload this page. And this time, now it is looking much better. Now if we click on any of the product inside this list, this is all about a single product detail. Here we have product thumbnail image, product title, product cost, product sort description. Here is the quantity like what quantity we want to add into our cart. Here is the button and all about category information. So if we see inside this toolbar, it is using single-product.php which is a template which is coming from WooCommerce folder. Now if we back to directory and here is that template. Back to our editor, press Ctrl B to open and go inside WooCommerce folder. And inside this WooCommerce folder, if we search about single and this is all about loop folder and here inside this we will have called single product.php. Press Ctrl B and inside this file and inside this page, if we look closer inside this code, so we have the same action hook what we have worked over archive-product.php. It means that the classes all list the div what we have created if we go and copy this action hook. Find inside this, so we have seven times this action we have used. Go up and here as we can see that we have implemented to open our container row div classes. So by the help of this action hook setting priority, we have added something with the class called container as well as row class. So if we search about this function and here's the function and inside this function, we have added a container class, custom container class, a row and a custom row. This is if we go inside this code, inspect this page, go inside this element section and if we go inside this code and look over that is the same action action hook used inside this page as well. So that's why we are getting the same container class here as well as the row class here. So this is all about single-product.php which is actually using the same action hook where we have worked inside archive-product.php. So if we scroll inside this template, now we can see that here we have a WooCommerce sidebar. And as we know that this is the sidebar we have removed inside this single product.php by putting a template function, something called is underscore swap. So if we go inside this functions.php, 
sorry inside this WC modifications copy this and search inside this file and as we can see that we have removed this WooCommerce sidebar so this WooCommerce sidebar action hook is using all about this function called WooCommerce git sidebar so if I copy search inside this file go inside that and as we know that this is all about choosing or selecting our like product speech and inside this function we have displayed otherwise inside else block we don't have any sidebar so that's why the sidebar is not displaying inside this page so let's say that if we want to change some css so how can we attach our own custom css let's say that for this add to cart button we want that the background color should be a black so what I will do if I click on this add to cart button inspect on that go inside this form and inside this here we have the button now if you go here click on this new style rule here is the classes go inside that let's say that background equal to something let's say black or something if you choose any color click on that selecting this color and I think that it is not working why it is not working this is our button choosing a new style rule and here as we can see that here we have a black color this is the hobo color actually appearing as purple but when we move our mouse it is now changed to black color now if we scroll down this is the custom CSS what we have added and also if we want to add something let's say font size something 14 pixel and now it is looking good so what I will do if you either click on this inspector style sheet copy on that copy this CSS what we have done go inside editor open up the file called style.css of this theme what we have created so go inside that and as we know that we have successfully attached this style.css inside this functions.php file and here it is go inside here and I'm going to paste let's say this is all about the CSS of let's say single product page and if I paste the CSS here save this change back to browser close this inspect reload this page and as we can see that our css is now perfectly working if i back to our archive hyphen product.php now let's say that here inside this page also we want to change this add to cart button layout it means we are going to change some css what i will do click on inspect go to this add to cart button and here inside this i'm going to plug click on this plus called new style rule let's say that background equal to something black I'm not going to choose black actually what I will do I'm click on this color selecting this color picker means click on that go inside here and selecting this header color uh, it is something different this is because this is hast value and here I will choose the hast value of white color as well as let's say font size equal to 14 pixel and if I copy all the code from here either we can copy or simply click on inspector hyphen style sheet this is the code what we have written copy all the code back to editor and I'm going to paste with a comment let's say that this is all about products page and here I'm going to paste all the code save this change go to browser close this inspect reload this page and as we can see that our CSS is now perfectly working next let's say that we want this product title should be at center as well as this product cost will be at center now if I inspect on that what I will do all about this is our product title inside this h2 tag click on that and here let's that text align it should be center and if I copy this CSS pasting inside this file 
and the next we want this cost also so go inside this span class price click on this plus icon also we want text align equal to center so if I copy this code go here pasting it here and also we want that this add to cart button should be at center so what I will do as we have added this style so inside this let's say text align or simply what I will do instead of this anchor go inside this anchor value this is containing an image so instead of this add to cart button if we want to make into center what I will do go inside this parent ally and what I will do simply click on this plus icon and let's say that text align equal to center and if I copy this code and this time this is only for the specific post so I don't want this simply if I remove all these classes from here and this is all about aligning the add to cart button into center copy all the code go here pasting it here and if I remove all these things from here because the ally is going to align our text align center now save this change reload this page and as we can see that now this time we have changed the layout of this add to cart button as well as the title also the product cost so this is quite simple to change any of the CSS rule of WooCommerce simply do any changes inside inspector copy that and save inside this style.css only we need to link this file inside this functions.php it will work perfectly and one more thing that actually I would like to discuss inside this video is that inside this file wc-modifications.php we have used this template function but this function is giving return true value or false value when WooCommerce plugin is activated if suppose if we go inside admin panel and deactivate then this function is going to say something error what I mean if I back to admin panel go inside this WooCommerce or simply plugins installed plugins if I create some zoom and inside this plugins list here are the plugins we have and inside this this is for the WooCommerce and as we know that this is the template function we have used to check that we have the products page or the single page template now if we go inside admin deactivate this plugin go inside front end reload this page and this time we have some error error is that there has been a critical error on your website so how can we find that what error actually we are getting currently inside this page back to directory go inside this wp folder here we have a file called wpconfig.php now if I open this PHP into an editor press ctrl B go inside here and inside this we will have the file called wpconfig.php and inside this we will have something if we find I think that the debugger should place at the footer scroll down and here we have called wp-debug equal to false so if I turn it to true to see the errors save this page go here reload this and as we can see that call to undefined function is underscore swap so this is the function actually given by WooCommerce so first of all before using this function we need to check that either we have the activated plugin something WooCommerce or not so what I will do back to editor go inside this functions.php and as we know that here we are including our file for this modifications page so what I will do let's say that if class exist first of all we need to check that WooCommerce class is declared or not and this class will be declared if and only if we will activate our WooCommerce plugin 
Now if we go and reload this page, now as we can see that we are getting our default layout something called index.php. It is not going to work inside for this file because this is going to return the false value. This time this class does not exist anymore inside our WordPress setup. So what I will do, go to admin panel, click on activate button. Now WooCommerce class now available for our WordPress setup. After activating that, so plugin activated successfully, go and reload this page and our WooCommerce plugin is now successfully working. This is the error of deprecated functions. It's because we have actually enabled our true value so make it as false. Save this change, reload this page and error has gone. So when we click on this product, this is all about single product. We have changed the CSS. So at the same stages, what we have done for our products page, simply we can implement all the CSS for this file as well. Inside this page, apart from single product detail, here we have description, reviews and our related products. So inside next video, we will see that how can we make like zoom effect inside this thumbnail images because right now when we hover on these images we are not getting any zoom effect on this post thumbnail so we will create inside next video so inside this video session guys if you went out please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day